Good morning, I'm Serena here for WW Magazine and we are here at Epcot this morning to check out the brand new tea experience being held at the Rose and Crown in the UK Pavilion. This is supposedly the ultimate British tea experience where we get to learn how to make a proper cup of tea. I'm super excited to give it a try, so let's get started. here in the UK. This is one of my favorite restaurants at Epcot, the Rose and Crown. They have the best fish and chips. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend you give them a try. As you can see, it's early morning. World Showcase hasn't really opened up yet, so it's nice and quiet here. Check-in for this experience is at 9.45 and it begins at 10 a.m. So let's go check in. Okay, I just checked in and we're going to wait here. And we'll be going in in just a few minutes and the experience actually happens inside the Rosen Crown. Okay, so they say always tea bag first and then water. My whole family had blue sheets. I was going to joke about it all the time. I just probably see what I'm saying. And they give you this really cool little timer that has all the types of tea on it. And you flip it and it'll tell you when the cup is ready. We're starting off today the first course of our tea experience, our food park. We're going to have the uh, egg salad sandwich. We have a uh, poached salmon with cucumbers. We've got a cheese and pickle, which is a, a English Branston pickle, which is a very dark, rich pickle, vegetable pickle. And then we've got a uh, curry chicken salad, which is my favorite. We have egg salad, cheese and pickles, curry chicken salad, and a salmon. And the beautiful flower there is actually grown here in Epcot and is edible. And the English breakfast, which is the most traditional one, it's very, very strong. So I preferred that one with a little bit of milk. And the chai tea is absolutely excellent. And they've explained that these two teas are paired best with these savory sandwiches. The chef said his favorite was the curry chicken salad. And I would agree. That it's really, really good. Okay, they just brought us a second pot of hot water and we're going to make our final two teas here. The chamomile, honey vanilla, and green tea. These ones are going to be brewed for only two minutes. That's it. So once you've got your water in, flip over your timer and it's going to be the green one that you're looking for. Might be possible that you overbrewed it. If you overbrew your green tea, it can start to smell a bit fishy, which is maybe why you don't like it. Tea brews very, very quickly. As you can see, it's a very pale color. And she said that if you have not been liking your green tea, it could be that you have overbrewed it. It gets a little fishy, apparently. This particular brew is so good, this green tea. It's got pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberry in it. And it smells and tastes wonderful. Awesome. Yes, mine too. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what they do is they take heavier, the richest cream, uh, heaviest high fat content cream, and they bring it to a boil and they let it cool and then they skim the top off, which is pure goodness. <laughs> and there's no way or anything. So enjoy this. This is the last thing you're gonna eat this week. <laughs> Saturday and you can start again on Sunday. So. But it's really, really yummy. So you only get once in a while. So enjoy. So we've got homemade scones. This is a fruit one and a plain one. Jam and cream, of course. And these are paired wonderfully with these two teas. And they gave us a little takeaway to bring home. A little packet of all the teas that we tried today. Right across from Rose and Crown here at the UK Pavilion is the Twining's Tea Shop in this little adorable cottage looking house. And you can come over here and purchase any of the teas that you got to sample, as well as talk to any of the cast members that work here who are very knowledgeable on tea and can help direct you if you want to purchase some more or find out more information about it. All right, just finished up. What a fun experience. If you want to try the tea experience, you can book it through Disney's website. As of right now, it's available on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mornings, but that could change, so definitely check that out. It's only in the morning at 10 a.m. It lasts one hour, and it's only $30 a person, which by Disney standards is really not bad, considering that you get a really nice experience, you get to learn a lot, you get to sample four different teas and two plates of food. For $30 a person, an hour experience, that's really not bad. Plus, you get your little teas to bring home with you. So overall, I think this was a super fun experience. It's great if it's something that you want to add that you've never done. Sometimes we come to Disney often and we want to try something a little bit new each visit. This is a perfect opportunity for that. And certainly if you are a fan of tea, then this is like a no brainer. You need to try this experience. I'm Serena here for WW Magazine. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you real soon. Bye bye.